Do you ever feel like you're not good enough as a musician? Like you don't deserve the success that you've achieved? That's imposter syndrome. And many musicians struggle with it. And the thing is, the more successful you are in your career, the worse it seems to get. So what can you do about it? Stick around and you'll find out. So, what exactly is imposter syndrome? Well, according to the internet, imposter syndrome is a psychological phenomenon characterised by persistent feelings of self-doubt, inadequacy, and a fear of being exposed as a fraud, despite evidence of one's competence, achievements, or success. Individuals experiencing imposter syndrome often attribute their achievements to luck or other external factors, rather than acknowledging their own abilities or efforts. They may constantly worry that they're going to be discovered as imposters who don't deserve their accomplishments, leading to anxiety, stress, and a lack of confidence in their skills and abilities. Imposter syndrome is definitely not limited to musicians either, as it can affect people across various domains, and it can manifest in different ways, such as perfectionism, fear of failure, and difficulty accepting praise or recognition for one's work. Despite external validation or evidence of competence, individuals with imposter syndrome may continue to doubt themselves and feel like they don't belong or deserve their roles in their respective fields. So, as a musician, imposter syndrome can definitely hold you back from reaching your full potential. It can make you doubt your abilities, compare yourself to others, and feel like a complete fraud. Which kind of puts a damper on the incredible experience that is creating music and performing it in front of people. Well, the good news is, you're not alone. And I'll put together 10 actionable steps to help you overcome or deal with imposter syndrome. Firstly, acknowledge and normalize your feelings. Recognize that imposter syndrome is a common experience, especially among creative individuals. Understand that it's normal to doubt yourself occasionally, but it does not define your worth or your talent as a musician. Secondly, focus on your journey, not comparisons. Instead of comparing yourself to other musicians, focus on your own progress and growth. Celebrate your achievements and your milestones, no matter how small they might seem. And remember that every musician has their own unique path and struggles. Challenge negative thoughts. When imposter syndrome creeps in, challenge those negative thoughts with evidence of your own abilities and achievements. Keep a journal of positive feedback, successful performances, or personal achievements to remind yourself of your talent and your worth as a musician. Something like this is great to look over when those negative thoughts start to take hold. Focus on continuous learning. Embrace a growth mindset by viewing these challenges as opportunities for learning and improvement. Instead of dwelling on perceived shortcomings, channel your energy into acquiring new skills, techniques, and knowledge to enhance your musical abilities. Visualize success. Use visualization techniques to imagine yourself performing confidently and skillfully in various scenarios. Visualization can help reinforce positive beliefs about your capabilities and reduce performance anxiety associated with imposter syndrome. Guys, if you're enjoying this so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment below, it all helps. Next up, connect with fellow musicians. Seek out a supportive community of musicians who understand the challenges that you face and can offer empathy, advice, and encouragement. Share your experiences with imposter syndrome openly and learn from others the strategies that they use to cope. Because I guarantee you, your fellow musicians are having the same struggles. Seek constructive feedback. Seek feedback from trusted mentors, teachers, or peers who can provide constructive criticism to help you grow as a musician. Use feedback as an opportunity for learning and refinement rather than a validation of your worth. Practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and compassion, especially during moments of self-doubt or failure. Remind yourself that everyone experiences setbacks and that mistakes are an integral part of the learning process. Keep a gratitude journal. Cultivate gratitude by keeping a journal where you regularly write down things that you're grateful for within your musical journey. Reflecting on the positive things in your life and your career can counteract feelings of inadequacy associated with imposter syndrome. Seek professional help if needed. 
If imposter syndrome significantly impacts your well-being or your ability to pursue your musical goals, consider seeking help from a therapist or a counsellor who specialise in working with performers or artists. Professional guidance can provide valuable tools and strategies for managing imposter syndrome effectively. By incorporating these actionable steps into your routine, you can gradually overcome imposter syndrome and develop a more resilient mindset that empowers you to thrive as a musician. Thanks guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment below, all that jazz. See you next time. And I've put together 10 actionable steps to help you overcome or deal with pit Help you deal with c Bah, bah. <laughs> off truck. Killing me.